Hi, uh, this is Aman Wan. Actually, I didn't expect that I will get such a warm welcome from my first video. I really appreciate it and I really excited to be part of this booktube community and booktubers. You are awesome! In Malay, we call it as Kamu Terbaik! So, other than graphic novels, I also enjoy watching, not watching, reading manga or graphic novels or comic books. And last few months, I buy this uh, comic book's name called Tesoro by Natsume Ono. Uh, she's a Japanese, but I think that she lives in Italy because most of her works, uh, the title is in Italy. Uh, so, Tesoro means treasure or a treasured thing. That's what she said. So Tesoro is a compilation about uh, short stories. Uh, 14 short stories, a really charming one. I really like the drawing, see? It's a very minimalist, it's a very cute. But the story is a really emotional, it's a really charming, it's really heartwarming. I really like it. It's about the family, an unexpected bond between a friendship, a father and a brother. For them brother. <laughs> so it's really recommended. To buy. Because I really like this so much, then I googled Nasumi Ono names and I found a bunch of her works and I tried to find it in the bookstore and I found it! It cost me nearly 300 bucks. Yes, in my country, imported books are quite pricey. If you have this book for $13, I buy it for 44 bucks. But it's worth it, so it's okay. Let's get through all one by one. The next book is Danza. Danza means dance. I think she didn't mention it, but I think it's called dance. So it's also uh, quite similar with the Tesoro. It's a collection of six short stories. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and it's a really heartwarming one. Uh, it's about a relationship of this uh, son-in-law with her father-in-law. The son-in-law is taller. So how this father-in-law feels about it and um, it's about the father and son it's about oh mostly about father and son but it's a really really heartwarming story I really like it the drawing is simple but the story is best the best the next one is not simple but the story is really complicated it's about this iron this guy uh, who lived who was born in this really messed up family and the father and the mother is divorced uh, going through a really unfortunate event and I didn't want to spoil that even though that the drawing is quite simple it's quite minimalist but it brings a really heavy message and how complicated this guy is and it's really not simple that's why so the next one is my favorite is La Quinta Camera I really really love it I really like it uh, so, see? Okay, this is about uh, these four guys, uh, middle-aged men, who live in this small apartment. They have their own stories, they have their own dreams, and they live uh, together in this small apartment in Italy. There are four people, but in the apartment, there are five rooms. So the fifth room, they rent it to uh, exchange students or the tourists. So the, every chapter, they will encounter with a new roommate. So it's a really fun, it's a really heartwarming, still a heartwarming, but it's really fun, it's really funny, and I like it so much. I really love it. I really like the characters, I really like the stories, and I really love how it ends. Uh, I hope that Nasumi Ono will make a prequel for this. I totally got to buy it. So the next one is Restaurante Paradiso, Restaurant Paradise. Uh, it's quite different uh, other than other works, not so many works, because this book is more matured. Uh, I think that's for adults. The drawing is quite matured. See? Uh, and the story is about uh, this girl who names uh, Nicoletta, who have been left by her mother. Her mother go to Italy to run a place uh, and marry an Italian man and she ran a restaurant so after uh, several years when the daughter is uh, 21 she tried to found her mom she tried to find her mom 
in Italy. So it's about how she reconnect uh, with her mother and also the waiters who live, who works for her mother. There are several waiters, actually it's a really charming waiters. And Nicoletta fall in love with one. One of the waiters. Oh, it's really hard to find a word for that. So the other final books is Rente. Rente actually this trilogy is trilogy. Okay, this three books actually is the prequel for Ristorante Paradiso. It's about uh, short stories about the background of every character in this book, how it explains uh, about the life of the waiters, why her mother left her and whatsoever. So it explains in these three books. It's really good. So that's all from me. Yes, I know that is all graphic novels. After this, I will review and I will focus more on English novels. More on novels, young adult one. So if you have any recommendation what should I read, just comment in the section below. Comment section below. So once again, thanks for you guys, booktubers who subscribe me, who like my videos, who very supportive, comment on my videos. I really appreciate it. And... See you in the next video. So bye-bye.